Hey everybody, welcome to Live Love Love Tarot. So today's topic is going to be a Divine Feminine read. You may hear me refer to Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine in this read. These are simply energies that any and everyone can embody. You could be a male or a female in these energies, okay? The masculine being that of yang, that is action-oriented, while the feminine energy is that of yin, which attracts, okay? I see you completing some sort of cycle here, Divine Feminine. And where you were once stuck and things were once stagnant, uh, I see you really starting to take charge and really just be fully in this feminine energy. But... Where great power comes great responsibility and some things may have to go out of your life. Like some things may not be able to make it. So if you want me to pick up on your energy in this collective, like and subscribe. I feel like it makes a difference when I'm picking up the collective energy, whether it be divine feminine, divine masculine, or any kind of general read. So remember that this is a collective read still and take what resonates and leave the rest. And you can also check out my playlist. Any and everything that has to do with Live, Laugh, Love, Tear, it'll be down below in the description box only. But I do definitely appreciate all of the likes and subscribes to this channel. I do definitely appreciate it. So look, you have an emperor. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is someone outside of yourself. Like it may be you embodying this emperor energy but here we have someone watching you there is someone watching you divine fam and this is someone that has been a long time coming they definitely view you as their empress and they want to come out of this energy it's like i'm hearing Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. Check that out. That's that's y'all channel song. Um, that this is what that person wants to do. This could very well be your masculine. They could be a Leo or have that in their chart. You could be a Libra or have that in your chart. Or vice versa. Flip it or switch it. It is a collective read. But this person wants to come in and save you. Look. Very passionately. Some part of it seems unrealistic, but I don't know. They see themselves being able to do it. Look, magician, the star, they see themselves very being very successful, coming in, sweeping you off of your feet. Point blank, period. Let's get some clarity here for Divine Feminine. Remember, the divine feminine is that energy of yin that attracts. So it's like you're not going out outside of yourself. You're attracting this person in. But the thing about it is, is this person is seen as your equal. Okay, well, we'll see if it comes out. But I did see the emperor there in the pre-shuffle. Can I have some clarity for this nine of wands? Hmm. Temperance. Although it's been a very hard, long battle, this person is still hanging on. It's like you can barely even notice that they've been through all what they have been, right? Likes do attract, though. So that's what I'm saying. Like, this person is basically a reflection of you, Divine Femme, to some extent. So here we have them watching you. And then here we have the Two of Pentacles watching you and deciding what to do rotating different thoughts back and forth here we have five of cups wondering was it something that they did would they be good enough for you divine fam seven of wands it's like they have something up their sleeve. I just saw the high priestess in the pre-shuffle. They're not speaking about it. This person, I don't think this person has ever really spoken out. I don't know. Maybe for a select few of you, they've spoken some type of emotion to you. 
but then it just kind of broke off. For some of you, I'm hearing ghosted. I'm not even going to lie. Let me get something for this Three of Swords in reverse, please, and thank you. Yeah. Nine of Wands. It's like they're in this energy of Nine of Wands. But they're also in it again. Because it's like this person is willing to continuously fight for you. That's what I'm saying. Ace of Cups. And then here we have Page of Pentacles. They want to offer you a better offer. And they have the stamina <laughs> to offer you, you know, to wait around until the time is right. Until you finally give in, huh? Look. Ace of Swords. Giving you that clarity. Judgment. Still coming in. You know? Still feeling like you deserve so much more. This person is very passionate about you. Look. The Emperor. I can't make it up. This is your Emperor coming for you, Divine Fam. Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work together with you. Four of Wands, because right now you're not together. Wanting to be with you. Needing strength to come get you. So I'm going to pull just some brief messages real quick. We have stalking your social media. I can't make it up. We also have horseback riding, freedom. This person feels so free when they're with you. I really just want to use you for my own benefit. This is what they may have showed you in the past. Or what they believe that you believe about them. Take it how it resonates. Seek help. Hmm. This person is probably very obsessed with you. Okay. Have my cake and eat it too. So you feel like this person is sick. Like they just want what they want. Somebody here is getting a new car, a car note. Uh, it's a high car note, okay? It could be black, yellow, blue, but it is a new car, okay? Take it where it resonates. I always stalk you every day. That's why I'm saying this person is kind of obsessed with you. That's why the seek help came out. And lastly, waste of time. Do not go any further with this. Excuse my fingernail. <laughs> okay. If this message resonated with you, please like and subscribe. If you like these type of messages, smash that like button so I can know to give you all more of what you want. And I thank you all for all of the love and support. Until then, peace and love.